Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and we're back on NR2003, and we Drivers have the Pixar Cars car. mod, where we're going to try to watch the Danico 400. We're going to go 75 laps at Bristol, closest track to it, I guess. Strip Weathers, the king, qualifies first. Where is Lightning McQueen's qualified fifth? And Chick qualified in 16th, so let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going green this time by Strip Weathers, your leader. Gets a great start to, whoops, Mac Icar behind Inges in second. And we got to keep an eye on Lightning McQueen and see if he can make his move up there. Remember, they were tied for the points, so whoever wins out of these three main guys will be the winner. If we can recreate history. Three wide in the back, in the middle, whatever. Oh my gosh, that was for about 10th place. But it cleared up pretty quickly. We're okay with that. Chick Hicks on his way up. He qualified way back there. Three white again in the back. Oh man, they're driving like maniacs already. We're just at the beginning of the race too. And we'll go back to the leader strip. Well, they're still leading in guess. Lightning McQueen made his way up to third place. Lap 4 of 75. I cars there, racing tires there. Axer gets bumped. Can Blammer do a bump and run? Does not look like it. Little Where the heck is Chick? He made it up to 15th position. If he don't hurry up and get going, he ain't gonna catch those leaders. Cause King's gonna start taking off in a minute. Lightning needs to get up to second. Inges having a great day right now. It looks like Clean Air must have got spun because he's way behind. Look at Lightning. He's catching up. Lightning McQueen caught the back of Inges. Don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying this so far, guys. Lightning McQueen going to try to go for the position already. It's barely the beginning of the race. We already have a 1-2 of the big three. Lightning McQueen just took away second position. Now Lightning's going fast. I wonder if he has enough to catch the King Mac Icar is going to use that freight training maneuver to try to get by Ingas also. Oh my goodness. But Ingas is holding up strong on that outside, but not strong enough. He gets in the wall, and Racing Tire's going to pass him. And he's going to get freight trained way back. Now we got the 76 of Rotor also passing Ingas. And I think Blammer is the one that's supposed to wreck every time. Everybody's stats are all the same except for the big three. They get a little bit better stats. Just like real life, I guess. I need, or just like the movie, I guess it's not real life, but yeah. But I think Blammer needs to be to where he breaks down or whatever every race because I think he's the one on his bio that says he never finished a race. But you guys can correct me in comments if anything needs to be corrected on anybody's stats. I have, uh, Chicks has the highest, uh, what's it called? Aggression. But not all the way up because he's not always constantly wrecking people. But we got Johnny Clean Air, I think is, is it Johnny? Whatever, Clean Air. Getting out lap for the first time. That slowed down. Strip Weathers, but Mac Icar looks like he's going to try to make a move on Lightning McQueen. And I did not see that coming. I thought when Lightning made it up to second, he was going to go for the lead, but no, he's going to end up getting passed by Icar. Icar had a really good qualifying attempt, though, so he's not doing too bad. Not too far off. He paced here. I can't believe there hasn't been a caution yet. <laughs> Practice, they were driving like maniacs. They're doing really good for the race. We are getting her done right now. We're a fourth of the race done, I believe. Or, a fifth of the race is complete. Lightning trying to make a move on Mac Icar. Can he do it? Oh my goodness. And while all this is going on, Chick has made his way up to 10th place. Right behind Axler, who has been finishing in the top 10 a lot. This is the first couple seasons, so hopefully he stays up here, I guess. Where the heck is Dale Jr. at? Everybody should like Dale Jr. I have no idea where he's at. Way in the back, 35th position. 
he needs to start making some moves. And Lightning falling back far enough to where Rotor might pass him. In gas is still in fifth, so he hasn't. F he actually got by the 35, a racing tire who passed him. Chick has made his way up to ninth, and he is passing to eighth, so he is catching up to Lightning right now. Lightning uses lap cars are picked. Oh, there's a spun out car, but no caution yet. Three wide. We're gonna stay green. Who was that? That was a muffle, whatever, was it? I think it was one of these cars. I'm not sure who it was spun out. This guy right here, Wipeout. <laughs> Funny, his last name's Wipeout. He got spun. I'm not sure what happened, but he got it going, so that's good news. Chicks made his way up to 8th place as they're lapping traffic, actually, right now. Lightning McQueen caught all the way back up to Mac Icar. Can he get by Icar now? That's the question. Almost has contact, and he will pass Icar if he keeps it right here, right now. And there he goes, right past Icar. And Ingas trying to make his way back up to the front, as he, I believe, was the second place car start. And he's going to get two in a row. Oh, no, he's not. He had to let off the gas. A car got spun in front of him. That's clutch burn. Is a caution out this time? No, it's not. Still green. Clutch burn, a lap car, going to really mess up Ingas the most out of everybody. He gets in the wall. He's going to lose positions for days. And Chick Hicks has made it up to 7th place. He's going to pass in gas right here. Can he get by Blammer? Blammer outlapping. Clutch burn. Chick is going to go by Blammer. Now he just got Rotor and Icar before he gets up to Lightning, who passed Icar, who's now 2nd place. So your big three are almost the front already. And this race is only a third of the way done. That is crazy, guys. Strip Weather is looking to outlap 32nd. Remember, there's 36 cars in the race because there was 36 cars on the movie. Rutherford trying to hold on to his lead lap as long as he can. He wants a caution to come out. Just like all the rest of these guys. We got Junior up here in 28th. He made his way back up a little bit. Not too amazing though for him. Chick is still behind Rotor, so that's not good news. We got a lap car messing up Corn Fuel. Corn Fuel is going to lose some positions. Flywheel is going to use that with an advantage also to try to pass Racing Tire. Wipeout trying to still keep up going. Axler lost the top 10, but he's going to move right back into 10th place right now. So that's good news for him. Strip Weathers has a huge lead. And his lead is now one and a half seconds long as he caught the Oaks. And he's going to outlap Oaks. Who's this? Ingas Rotor. Got some crazy stuff happening here. Rotor starting to get passed by Racing Tire. Not good for him. I can't believe it. Is this race going to go green the whole way? <laughs> and Flywheel's going to use Racing Tire. Try to get by him, and it's not going to happen again. And Rotor hit the wall, and he's going to get passed by a lap car of Shift Right. And that's going to bump him back. Axler got back up to 8th, 9th, and now he's going to get up to 8th if he gets by this guy. Or ninth now, sorry, my bad. And Chick Hicks only has to get by Icar now to get to be third, top three. Strip Weathers got by those two lap cars, but it's taken a while to get going anymore. And here we go. Ring flag is still out. Chick Hicks going for position. And remember, Chick's a little crazy driver, so if you block him too long, he will wreck you. And he doesn't play no games, so if Icar stays in front of him for too long, he's going to move him out of the way. So hopefully Icar gets out of the way, because Chick is faster right now. Caution is out! Caution is out, guys! Strip Weathers is still your leader. Oh no! 
Armstrong was spun out. Your leader, Strip Weathers, second, Lightning McQueen, and third, Chick Hicks. Let's go to the replay. It looks like Armstrong just got spun by the 52, and it was just in position to Kazakash, and just on the racing groove. Everything, all the other spins were not on the racing groove. Armstrong suffers minimal damage, and he will keep going, but he will be a lap down. Let's go to the green flag. All right, guys, we are going green this time by. We're about past halfway, somewhere around there. Your leader, Strip Weathers. We're about to go green flag racing. All the inside cars are one lap down. They're trying to fight for their lead lap back. Strip Weathers did not get a good start, and that is going to help Oaks get by him. Oaks is going to take the position back to get back on the lead lap, and all these cars are going to end up freight training Strip Weathers a key. And the king falling way back. Chick Hicks got to the inside line. Oh my gosh. If he gets by this using the inside line, he takes the lead. Chick Hicks takes the lead using the inside line right there, guys. Oh my goodness. I don't even know who's in second. And with Chick leading the race now... Oh, they're three wide. There's going to be a crash axler right in front of the other two big three number people. Caution is definitely out after this one. Oh, my goodness. Where did the king go? He must have made it through. How did he make it through that? Lightning McQueen gets wiped out. Your leader is Chick Hicks. And we're going to have to go look at a replay of that one. And here's your wreck. They were going four wide at... Dinoco 400 at Bristol. Oh my gosh. Lightning got messed up in there. We can look at Lightning's on board. Alright, we're on board with Lightning right behind the King. You can see them get loose right in front of him. The King got in the wall. Both of these guys are going to have damage. Lightning got spun bad. Hit a couple more times. Hopefully they have enough time to get back in the race. We'll go to the green flag. Alright guys, we're going green this time by Chick Hicks is your leader and only three cars a lap down. Nobody called it quits yet. Everybody's still in the race. Chick Hicks is going to take off and if he gets past this car of Schiffright, which he does not, he would have been home free, but that's not going to happen. Oh, they're all over the place. Clean air, got loose. Look at Strip Weathers go in the middle, three wide, passing cars. Oh my goodness, made his way back to the top five, but it ain't going to last. I think another caution is out. Caution is out, we'll see what happens. Once again, Scruggs involved another wreck. He just gets spun out by the 80 car. This time it's, his, it's him getting karma back, but we'll go to the green flag. The 73 car of Misty Motocross called it quits because her clutch went out. She's the only female in this series right now. And she's out of the race getting last place points. Not a good day for her. Almost everybody made it back on the lead lap. I cannot believe this. Chick Hicks is your leader. And let's see where everybody else is. The King is in 5th. Lightning McQueen all the way back in 19th position. If you guys want me to make a season out of this, let me know in the comments. Like this video if you're enjoying it right now. Don't forget to subscribe. 75% of my viewers are not subscribed. We need to hit 100 subs. We are at 80 right now, guys. Come on. Three wide. Oh, my gosh. Look at those guys fight for their lead lap back. And if the 90 card gets in front of Chick, like that right there, there is no lap cars, and Leadfoot takes the lead. Leadfoot, now your leader. Look at the king right behind him. Three wide chick, a lap car, and another car. Oh my goodness, guys. Leadfoot trying to outlap the 90 car once again, and Leadfoot is going to take the lead. Who thought Leadfoot would be up here? The king got stuck behind the lap traffic. He's going to get held up badly as he falls back. Caution is out once again. Leadfoot will be your leader as we go to the next restart. Once again, the 52 car of Scruggs involved another wreck as he takes out the 51 and the 21 and the 70.
get involved. Oaks not having a good day. Finally got back on the lead lap. And now has damage. Hopefully he has enough time to keep going. We'll go to the green flag. All right, we are going green this time. There are still 33 cars on the lead lap like there was before. The same two cars one lap down. Need to try to fight it again. Your leader is Leadfoot. We almost are down to 10 laps to go. If another caution comes out, they will be single file, not double file. So that is going to change up a lot. Leadfoot! That's almost the best. I think that's the best start we've seen in this whole race. Leadfoot is going to try to win his first race. Oh my goodness. Chick Hicks. Oh, there's a spin in the back. Ingas. Nice save. Oh, and then he gets spun out by Lightning McQueen, and they're still going to crash. They're still crashing. Oh my goodness. Lightning going to fall way back. Another caution is out. We are going to double file restarts because there is less than 10 laps to go. Who's your leader? Leadfoot is your leader. Chick Hicks second. Third is Revkins. He hasn't even been up there. We'll go see what just happened. And since the end of the race is heating up, they're driving like maniacs. The 34 car spun out the 63, and the 63 came down on Ingas. Mac Icar ran into Lightning McQueen to take out that poor guy. Involved two wrecks. Dale Jr. right behind Lightning. And th this race has gotten crazy, guys. Let's go to the green flag. We are going green this time. Bye. We are going to have a six-lap shootout. If a caution comes out, it might end the race. Leadfoot, your leader. Right behind him is Wipeout, who is a lap down. Then Chick Hicks. Then Clean Air, who's a lap down. Everybody else on the lead lap. So they're going to have to get by two lap cars to catch up to Leadfoot. Chick only has to get by one. Clean Air moves out of the way. What a smart move. Oh! Chick gets in the back of Wipeout and wipes him out. And we are still green at the moment. Oh, there's more wrecking. Caution is now out. Big wreck. Oh, my goodness. Chick is still in second place. Strip Weathers almost took third away, but Racing Tires is going to stay there. Where the heck is everybody else? Lightning is up to 12. Junior's up to 13th. We'll have to take a look at what happened. Wipeout was in the way of Chick, and Chick's like, I don't have time for this. I need to try to win the race. Takes out Wipeout. Wipeout gets wrecked by multiple cars that literally had nowhere to go because they were three wide. Oh my gosh. I can't believe these guys are still in the race after this. We're going to go to the green flag if there is one. Well, guys, this is the end of the race. Leadfoot is going to end up winning his first Piston Cup Series race. Right behind him, Chick Hicks, who might have caused that wreck on purpose to win the points at the Dynaco 400. Strip Weathers is going to end up second in the points. And Lightning McQueen is going to finish 12th place. Not a good day for Lightning as he was up there battling for second Chick qualified terribly back there in like 23rd and somehow comes back to finish second. Congratulations to Wetter, blah, 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 Leadfoot. My bad. Anyway, guys, here's your results. It glitched out. Everybody that's one lap down is technically not a lap down. I don't know why it does that when it finishes under caution, but it does. Motocross is the only one that called it quits. Like and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments right now. Stop what you're doing. Let me know if you enjoyed this and you want me to make a season out of this. I enjoyed this. This is awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. Ingas lost 24 positions. He had majorly bad luck. As he got spun out because of somebody else's mistake. Got back going. Mac Icar ran into Lightning McQueen, and Lightning McQueen hit Ingas to spin him out a second time. Poor Ingas, RIP Ingas. Finishes 26 plays when he was probably a top 5 car.